What's going on, guys? Andrew here. Welcome back to Around the Track. This is where we talk about all the hot new things going on within the coastal community. I know what you're about to say. Angelo, where the world have you been this whole time? We've had to go watch Brian's video. Shout out to Brian. He's been doing an awesome job at uh, covering pretty much every single day. I don't know how he's really doing it every single day. I cannot get up there because I've been working pretty much 60 hour weeks uh, since that last video that you all saw. With that being said, let's go ahead and talk about uh, what's going on. As you all know, they have completed at least one inversion now. And I'm really glad to see that they got that done right before the announcement because that's going to be literally in, I think, two or three days. So I think Wednesday is the announcement. I'm actually recording this audio July 29th at 5.32 a.m. And this footage is going to be from July 1st. So that tells you how busy I've been. I haven't even done, I was supposed to edit this video like literally when I got home and I just didn't end up getting it done. And then procrastination, procrastination. So this is the footage that you're going to get. And then you're going to get another video probably either later today or tomorrow because um, I will be off tomorrow. So I'll be able to get that footage uh, up today. That will probably be the last update before they do the announcement. After the announcement, I will make a video just regarding everything, the speed and what all is coming because it's going to be a lot. With all that being said, though, I'm going to let you all see what's going on outside of the park. This is again, this is from July 1st. Once you all see that footage, I will talk about pretty much everything that was going on inside the park. Like I said, this is old footage, but I still wanted to get it out and for you all to at least see my coverage of it. So, yeah. OK, guys, man, I know it has been a while. Today is Monday, July 1st, 2024. So. As you can see, they got in track all the way down here now. I'm going to definitely get some shots, but I'm going to go ahead and get over this fence really quick. Let me, uh... All right, so these pieces are now curved. So these are some more pieces that are probably going to be going, not on the launch, but this is going to be actual parts of the ride. I mean, they're all parts of the ride, but you get what I mean. So we're going to walk down a little bit. Um, it does seem like it's kind of packed today, but that's also because it's July 4th weekend. These pieces of track are gnarly, yo. Way bigger in person than they may seem on camera, but we're just gonna kind of walk along the way here. I'm not gonna go on that side, but I will zoom in so you all can see. Uh, notice some more pieces over in there. They're really lining it up. Yeah, supports over here. Stuff laid out everywhere. I'll get pictures in a little bit, but there are pieces. So the brake run has been installed. The part of the launch has also been installed. So if you look further down, they don't have that track there anymore. So all that track is gone now. So there's some more pieces of supports over here. And then, like I said, they kind of lined up uh, parts of it. They just arrived actually today too. I saw the picture of uh, somebody showing the truck was on the way. But yeah, so. They've been working really hard. I told y'all that they were gonna start ramping it up. The announcement is more than likely, there's, I don't know what that is right there, but the announcements are more than likely gonna be in August, more than likely either before or after National Roller Coaster Day. Uh, they did this last time. They actually added this spot right here too. Um, this is where I was at previously when they first like got the track. And if you look over here, I don't know what those are, let me know in the comment section below what these are. Oh, here we go. I know what these are now. So over there, it looks like wood from a distance, but this is actually going to be like kind of a tree color. So you're going with green, gray, and green, gray, and tan. Okay. So basically, these are the pieces where they walk on the track at. So essentially, oh man, they got some big pieces of track over there too. So these pieces right here, that's what the... Uh, that's what they walk on to kind of survey the ride or say if the ride goes down this is what you'd be walking on the tan looks really good no lie like i really like the way the tan looks um we're gonna go ahead and keep walking down this is a nice little stretch here that they got uh, i always come at this later hour because it's so hot during the day uh the other day actually it literally felt like i was in texas like it was so hot so they got some more pieces over here I can't even count all these. I think there are about 11 pieces just in here. They still have that one piece all the way over there. And then you got more supports over here. So, like I said, there's a lot going on now. And they have the big yellow crane over here. 
uh, that's because these probably weigh tons. Not even probably, they weigh tons. So I'm gonna get some pictures. Uh, like I said, this one's gonna be a pretty long update because I have to take pictures and also go inside the part. They're actually teasing, they're doing teasers now. So that tells me it is almost that time for the announcement of the name of the ride as well as all the elements and everything in between. I'm very excited for the announcement. Hopefully I get to go to media today, but we will see, we will see. Only time will tell. But I know you all are enjoying these updates. I try to do mainly like 10 minute updates at this point because too much is happening for me to come up here every single day. So I can't just come up here every day when I have to work every day. So it'd be really hard for me to do all that. So I'm definitely gonna get some wide angle shots because these pieces of track, like I said, they are really big. Um, I think honestly, they may be taller than me, like no lie. This is looking like this is actually six foot, like this piece right here, it looks like it's over six feet. Jeez. Oh, I'm so excited, man. This is gonna be awesome. And that's the yellow crane. Like I said, this crane is pretty large too. It may look small on camera, but I'm gonna tell you, this John is huge in person. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, I'm gonna head inside the park after this. I'm gonna get some pictures and I will talk to y'all then. Okay guys, so just finished filming outside the park, but I wanted to give a shout out to Brian and Brandon. Nice meeting you guys, really dope people. Uh, we just had a nice little conversation about coasters just now, uh, going inside the park. Really quick, they actually added some sunshades over Outpost Cafe. added little bamboo like supports again so they're definitely keeping like the bamboo theme it seems like but it looks really really good i'm glad they finally got shade over here because yeah this was actually really needed like it feels so much cooler over here and then like i said there's theming on like the bamboo over there there's some bamboo over here by tumbili tumbili has honestly the best theming honestly in this park like and the best theming for a 40 freshman so you can't knock them for that they definitely went hard on theming i don't know why but we will see what happens with the wing coaster if they will add theming or not Alrighty, so now as you've seen what's going on outside of the park let's go ahead and talk about what's going on inside the park as we look over the finch you can see the launch track was just getting started they finished the brake run uh, the launch track is now completed as well as like i said the inversion so i can't wait to see this in person it looks like it's around 135 to 140 feet uh, definitely towers over Tumbili, and I do really like the gray supports. You can actually see the incline of the angle with the supports is actually advancing. It's essentially getting higher and higher, and then, like I said, the brake run was basically complete. They actually finished the entire brake run. They were going at such a rapid pace, like, it's pretty insane. This coaster should be done by the end of the year. I don't see why it couldn't be done by the end of the year, because there's going to be a lot more they have to get done in this area. Remember, they're supposed to be painting... Uh, Intimidator 305 so that's supposed to be getting repainted and renamed we don't know for sure if that's going to be officially next year or if that's going to be the following year I imagine though that it should be coming next year because they can finish painting a coaster within this time frame especially if they close that area um, later on this year and probably like October or something or September we look over this area of the fence uh, you can see that they were kind of getting more areas for footers and there was some water that had pulled up because I think it had rained like a couple of days prior. Uh, so there wasn't too much work being done, but you can best believe literally after they got that stuff dried up. If I get a chance to ride Reptilian later today, I'm going to be very excited to see the aerial view of this because... Eiffel Tower is not open, so we can't really get an idea of what this all looks like. You have to sit on a certain side of drop tower to actually see what's going on. That footer right there actually supports three different uh, columns. So those columns are now finished and it is holding a piece of track now. They also, I saw some other videos, again, shout out to Brian, but they also have some more theming in that area. Like they've actually taken back the fencing and added more theming. This footer right here that's in a box, I don't know if they've completed this area. I think it is done now. I don't even know if there's actually supports in this area yet. So like I said, it is going to be really cool. I know I'm going to be reiterating this the entire video, but it's going to be really awesome seeing the progression from literally July 1st to July uh. 29th so yeah this angle over here i've just seen a video 
uh, this whole area is where the inversion is actually going to be at. And now it makes sense why it was taking a lot more work for them to get this spot done because they were digging like trenches in this area because the footers had to be bigger. This was another closer angle to kind of where the launch track is going to be at. So it's essentially a straight line. Again, it's going to be angled up and they did have a uh, John Deere vehicle. So yeah, I don't really want to talk too much in this video, mainly because there's not much to talk about. Like I said, the next video that I make is going to be the real video. This one's going to be everything. So this shot right here, really glad I got this shot. This was by like Flight of Fear, but you can actually see the brake run as well as the launch and then within this shot itself. Looks really cool seeing uh, where the, the, the brake run is by Flight of Fear and then the launch is gonna be going away from Flight of Fear. So the station, I'm very intrigued on what the station is gonna look like. Apparently now there's not gonna be a pre-show anymore due to budgeting, which really does suck. I hope they change that decision in the future because they do still have time to do so. I forget what you call the tan piece, I guess sidesteps. I, I forget the actual name, so let me know in the comment section below, but they did install a couple of those sidewalks or the sidesteps uh, on the outside, on the outskirts of the track. The rest of the video, I'm gonna kinda let you all watch and just enjoy it. There is a bonus clip at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the track literally had just arrived right when I was leaving and I was like, oh my gosh. So you'll see that clip later on. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and until next time, peace out.
Okay, guys, literally I'm about to leave, right? At 741, I was like, hold on, there's two trucks right there. They're over there. <laughs> Look at that. Two trucks just freaking arrived, man. They are not playing over here. I literally was about to head out. That's the great uh, support. There goes Dominator. And then there's some ports actually right here. So I'll let y'all see those. Yo, this is crazy. And that's the track over there. I forgot to film that earlier today. But yo, they got two more trucks. I said, what the world is going on? All right, I'm getting out of here.